Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to answer the question, what is geothermal heating and cooling? So geothermal systems use the ground to provide heating in the winter and cooling in the summer. It's also sometimes called ground source or geo exchange. So let's look at how that works. So let's say you have a building and it's sitting on the ground and in the middle of summer, maybe it's 75 to 95 degrees outside or even hotter depending on where you live. And the same building in the winter, it could be maybe 20 degrees to 40 degrees or even colder depending on where you live. But four to six feet down in the ground, because the earth is a really good insulator, it's a pretty constant 55 degrees. So even in the winter when it's cold out, it's about 55 degrees in the ground. So geothermal uses pipes in the ground to provide essentially free heating and cooling. So let's make our buildings kind of 3D more or less. So inside the building somewhere you'll have a heat pump and an air distribution system, basically your duct work, your fan to get the air throughout the building. And they are connected to underground pipes called the ground loop. So coming out of the building will be pipes that go into the ground and creates a loop where water can pass through the ground and then come back into the building. The ground loop can be either horizontal or vertical depending on the location. So in the summer, the water temperature above ground may be 75 degrees or warmer, depending on the outside temperature. But when it circulates the ground, it cools to 55 degrees as it comes back into the heat pump. In the winter, the opposite happens. The outside air is cold, so the water temperature is cold. It passes through the ground loop, warming up to 55 degrees as it comes back into the heat pump. So geothermal systems are really efficient because you don't have to use energy to heat and cool the water. You just circulate the water, run the heat pump, and the inside air distribution components. So that's a quick overview of geothermal heating and cooling. We'll cover heat pumps in the next podcast, which will be next year. So have a great holiday, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for taking a time out with us.